Hey there, Amanda here. Let's talk about cheese boards. I'm obsessed with cheese boards. I don't know what it is, but I like love a good cheese board. Whenever I'm at someone's house for dinner, the cheese board is like the first stop on that dinner train. And I wanted to show you how to make the ultimate cheese board. You can make it for the upcoming holidays or you could just have it any old Saturday night with a large glass of wine. Let me show you how to do it. So before we get started on our ultimate cheese board, I'm gonna show you how to make really simple and really delicious cheese straws. All you need is some puff pastry and some cheese. So I've got half of a puff pastry that I just bought from the freezer section of the grocery store. I had the full sheet of puff pastry and I cut it in half. So right now I just have one rectangle. I'm gonna dust it with some flour on both sides so it doesn't stick. So this is gonna make your cheese board extra fancy with minimal effort, which is my favorite kind. We wanna make it kind of like a squarish rectangle. Just make sure that it's not sticking. So first off, let's brush your puff pastry with a little egg wash. The egg is gonna help it brown, also gonna help all the yumminess that we're gonna put inside these cheese straws to stick. So just kind of liberally brush it all over. And an egg wash is just one egg with a couple tablespoons of water or cream. I like using cream just because it's a little more fat in there to help it brown, but if water is all you got, then use that. You have to move quickly with puff pastry because if it gets hot, it tends to melt. So I've got my puff pastry rolled out. I just added a little egg wash and now it's time for the fillings. I'm gonna add cheddar cheese and some Parmesan. You can add any other type of cheese that you wanted. Gruyere would be really nice. Any cheese that's gonna basically melt when you bake it. And be liberal with the cheese, because it's for a cheese board, and also, who doesn't love cheese? And they're called cheese straws for a reason. Great, so about half a cup of cheddar cheese. You could use white. I'm using orange just because that's what I had, but white would be totally fine too. Just sprinkle everything all over it. We're gonna add a little salt and pepper. With a knife, you're gonna gently just cut one inch strips. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to twist them together and you won't know that it's not perfectly an inch. I'm going to take each individual strip and just start to twist. And it's a little messy and it's okay if some of the filling falls out, just push it back in. These don't have to be that perfect. And if cheese isn't your thing with these cheesy straws, you could also do um, different types of herbs or different types of spices or seeds in there as well. But I'm all about the cheese, so we're going with cheese straws today. We're gonna put these on a parchment paper lined baking sheet and then bake them at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes until they're nice and brown and the cheese is kind of oozing out. Okay, perfect, ready for the oven. Okay, first let's obviously start with the cheese. It's a cheese board, so let's start with the cheese. First up is goat's cheese. I really like goat's cheese because it's kind of sour and a little bit pungent and then this one I found just at the grocery store has herbs over it. It's just rosemary pressed into it, but regular goat's cheese is totally fine. Next up is a cow's milk cheese. It's a little softer. This one's called Rum Runner, and this might be my favorite cheese out there. Um, I got it at Whole Foods, but if you just Google it, I think most grocery stores have it. It's a little bit sweet and nutty and softer, and it's amazing. Um, up next is a Gouda. I really like Gouda, not only for the color, I also like it for like the nutty savoriness. And then lastly is a triple creme. A triple creme is just the ultimate and decadent cheese. Basically, there's a lot of rules around cheese boards, but I like to throw them all away and just serve what I like. So there is our cheese, and then now let's add kind of the extras that make it so pretty. First up is gonna be some salami. I like adding a little bit of meat to the cheese boards. It adds some kind of heartiness too. Let's add some olives. I've got a couple Castle Veltrano olives that I'll add in there. These are my favorite olives, um, but obviously add whatever your favorite ones are. Let's add some nuts. These are just San Marcona almonds. And then lastly, let's kind of zhuzh up the cheese board a little bit with some fruit. So I really like getting grapes. And people can pair the cheese with the grapes too, or cheese with the different fruits. Um, and it just adds texture and color too, which I like. And then I have some fresh figs I'm gonna add in there, but if whatever fresh fruit is perfect. So if for some reason one of your guests is not a cheese lover, they could have some salami, they could have some nuts, or they can have some fruit. But really, they should be cheese lovers. Everyone should be cheese lovers. I was at the farmer's market and I found honeycomb, but I like to put something really sweet on my cheese board. I found honeycomb, but you could also just use regular honey. Honeycomb is super gorgeous and really texture driven, which is kind of why I like it. And it's all completely edible, obviously. So just cut a little bit off, put that right in the middle of your cheese board. So I've got my cheese board set up and my cheesy straws are done. I pulled them out of the oven and now we're gonna assemble them next to the cheese board. So they're nice and brown. I'm just gonna put them right into a cup and serve it right next to the cheese board. You've got fruit, you've got meat, you've got carbs, you've got cheese, it's kind of everything I want in a meal. So there you have it, you have the ultimate cheese board. I cannot wait to dive in. This is like my perfect meal. I could just eat this whole thing in one sitting. 
If you've liked what you've seen, make sure to subscribe below or tune in every single week as I post a new recipe video. See you next time.